The Cathedral of St. Philip has been a house of prayer for all people for a long time. And I'm here this morning to talk about a vision, a vision for a good faith chapel, a way to expand our sense of being a house of prayer for all people. For many years, this community has wanted and needed a medium-sized chapel. The Good Faith Chapel would hold 250 to 300 people. And it would be a different kind of architecture, a space that gives us a new way of praying, a round space, which is to say an octagonal space, where we would sense the presence of God among ourselves. This place will be a quiet place, a contemplative prayer room, a meditation room, if you will. There would be one window in the Good Faith Chapel, an oculus that is at the top of the rounded roof. An oculus is an eyepiece to the heavens, to the transcendent, an eyepiece to God, if you will. And that way we would be able to sense God's presence in the world around us, in the sky. The Good Faith Chapel will be intentionally variable. There won't be anything permanently fixed in the chapel, even the altar. The altar can be set up in the middle of the room or it could be set up at the edge of the room. Same with chairs. There won't be any fixed pews. In the Good Faith Chapel, we would have screens where we could have different images projected according to the image of the season, the image of the day, uh, St. Francis Day, the blessing of the animals, Easter and resurrection, Pentecost and fire. Well, one of the things we think of as we're putting this vision together of a Good Faith Chapel was our worship services during the COVID pandemic when we weren't allowed to be in rooms together, but we could gather outside safely. And we found ourselves gathering in a circle. We found ourselves gathering so we could see each other in a, in a beautiful way. And it was beautiful for us because we could see each other in the flesh. And there's a word we use in the Episcopal tradition, the word incarnation. It means in the flesh. We believe that Jesus is God in the flesh. And we believe that God continues to come in the flesh, not just through a medium, but, but in person. So this Good Faith Chapel is gonna give us a new way to experience incarnation, a new way to gather together, to be in the flesh together. There are beautiful examples of Christian chapels that are in the round octagonal. One is the baptistry outside the Duomo in Florence, Italy, St. John's Baptistry. It is an octagonal building separate from the beautiful cathedral that's there. We have that image in mind. We think of our Gothic structure as being traditional, but it's not traditional. Gothic was a new thing in its era. The Byzantine architectures, which were octagonal and circular, are much more classical Christian. So in a way, this Good Faith Chapel will plant us in the recent tradition and the ancient tradition. It'll have all that makes us part of a, a holy Christian community. This is it's a great opportunity to have a worship space, a, a multi-use space that has this natural light coming from the heavens. The Good Faith Chapel will be an important part um, for our, our grandchildren and it's something, it's a legacy that can be there for their future and future generations. This cathedral has always had leadership and has had vision to see what is the future, where is our society going, and how do we become a part of it? And I believe that this chapel is just the next chapter of that. We think about the expansions and the many, many iterations of growth we've had here. This is just the next level. I pray that this Good Faith Chapel continues a tradition of blessing in this place. So blessings to all of you who are watching this video, wherever you are. I hope the Cathedral of St. Philip has blessed you and this parish has blessed you. And I pray that the Good Faith Chapel will be a blessing to you and to the whole world. Amen. <laughs>